Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you are new to the channel, welcome. I am leaving for another trip in three days, and I'm so excited, and I thought this would be the perfect time to show you guys how I pack for a week-long vacation in a carry-on. As someone who considers himself a bit of like a practical minimalist, like I'm not gonna go a week with three outfits, but I am going to go a week in a carry-on with only things that I'm going to need, things that are essential on the trip. So I wanted to show you guys all of my packing tips and tricks for a week-long vacation on a carry-on, and that's what we're doing today. Now I am super excited to film this video because I am teaming up with a brand called Yasahi and I will link um, their website and all of their social media handles down below. But the reason I am so excited to team up with this brand and this is one of their shirts that I am wearing today is because they are a vegan friendly, ethically sourced and environmentally friendly brand. Yasahi creates shirts and bags that are created here in the USA by people that are paid very well and they are print to order, meaning they are not printing any more shirts than needed to cut down on waste. It's very important for me on this channel to not only share why I switched to a plant-based lifestyle for health, but also for ethical reasons and environmental reasons, and I feel like my goal for this channel aligns with the mission of Yasahi, and I'm really excited for you guys to check them out. Throughout the video, I'm going to be featuring some products from Yasahi, and you will see that not only is the stuff really cute, but it is super high quality. I am so excited for that reason alone, but you will see that, so be on the lookout. And with that, I'm gonna jump right into the first tip. Having a list right on hand while I'm packing saves my life. I know that sounds so dramatic, but I'm just the type of person that my brain is going like a million miles per hour, and if I didn't have a list that keeps me on track, I would be all over the place and I would certainly forget a ton of items. I will link down below a list that I have created that you are able to download for yourself and I will also put it on the blog post that will accompany this video, but basically a list keeps all of my thoughts sorted in my head. That way I don't forget anything. Packing cubes are everything. I don't know if it's just me, but if you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you probably know that. I'm psychotic about things being organized and in their place, and packing cubes do just that. Now, not only do they keep things organized because I'm able to put certain categories of items in one packing cube, it also frees up additional space in the carry-on. So for example, in my largest packing cube, I will put clothing items that are a little thicker in material. Anything that's gonna take up a lot of space or like I said, is a thicker material, it goes in that bigger packing cube and when you zip up the packing cube, it kind of lets out all the additional air and compresses those items. In the next largest packing cube, I'll usually put things like shirts and dresses Things that are a little thinner material and don't take up as much room. I also have a packing cube for shoes. That way you're keeping shoes all in one space, but it's also keeping any dirt and debris from rubbing off on all of your other items. I have a packing cube all for electronics, so typically I'll keep things like my GoPro and any cords or chargers that are associated with that. I also have a smaller packing cube where I keep things like my Clarisonic, my toothbrush, again, medicine, basically anything that's going to go in a bathroom vanity. And then I also have an additional bag that comes in the packing cube kit where I can put dirty laundry. That way my dirty clothes aren't getting into contact with all my clean clothes. Now I assume that this tip is common knowledge, but perhaps it is not. When you pack a carry-on or when you get on an airplane, you can actually have one carry-on and one personal item. For many people, this is a purse, especially for women, but I would highly recommend to utilize a backpack. The backpack that you see here in this clip, this is a travel backpack from Yasahi, and I am obsessed with this backpack. Like I told you in the beginning of the video, this is super high quality. The material is amazing. The zippers are high quality. There are a ton of compartments. So for example, in the first compartment in the front, I might put things like the headphones for me and the children. In a different compartment, I might put things like a camera lens. Inside the bag, when you open it up, there are tons of little slots for different items. So in the main slot, I'll put things like my laptop and my camera. 
There's also a slot for any kind of tablet as well as a slot for your phone. And then behind that, I'll typically put um, documents. There's a little zip up process, a little zip up compartment on the top of the inside, and that's where I will put passports and IDs and anything that I need easy access to as we are going through the airport. In the back, there's another large zipper section, and I will typically put in there some books that I want to read or sketch pads or my planner, anything again that I want to grab easily to entertain myself. And another great feature of this bag is that it has padding all over it. So on the back side, there's padding up at the top where your shoulder blades will hit and on the bottom, wherever your lower back will hit. So no matter how heavy your bag is, you are getting that cushioning. And then the last additional feature that I love is that it does come with an anti-theft lock. So with this lock, you can create your own passcode or you can use the passcode that comes already preset with the bag. So I'll put everything in the carry-on that I don't need, like clothes and items that I'm gonna need when I'm at my destination. And I will put that above in the overhead compartment on the airplane. And then I will keep the backpack under the seat as my personal item. Now a little bit ago I mentioned packing cubes, but I also have this really nifty, handy makeup case. And I will link that down below as well. But the reason I love this makeup case so much is because in the past, I have gone as simple as putting all of my makeup in a Ziploc bag. Things have spilled, things have broken, and obviously that's disappointing. We spend a lot of money on this stuff and it just, this, this makeup case has a compartment for everything. And the really cool thing about it is you can actually move the compartments around to make it fit the way that you want it to fit. So for example, I put my compartments, like one compartment has lip products, the next one has eye products, and the next one has any kind of like highlighter or blush. And then the top part, I'll put face products like foundation or concealer or my makeup sponge. There's also little slips in the top where you can put makeup brushes or eyebrow pencils, anything that's a little longer and needs to be secured so the bristles aren't getting destroyed. And then there's also a little zip up compartment where I put all of my palettes. So again, this just keeps things organized. I know where all of my makeup is. It fits better in the bag so it's not taking up additional space and it keeps things from breaking during travel. So I am not that person that will pack like eight additional outfits for a trip. I want an outfit for each day, possibly a different outfit for kind of a different event. And then I will have like one additional outfit in case something gets destroyed, as well as shoes that fit each category and slip-ons that I can wear to the airport. So personally what I do because I'm a little bit obnoxious with organization is I will pull out my clothing rack and I will hang each outfit up so I can visually see exactly what I am packing. And what I do is I will hang up the shirt and then I'll put any kind of like bottom like pants or a skirt or whatever and I'll hang it over the hanger underneath the shirt. That way I can see exactly which outfit is paired with what. I put the shoes up top and put socks inside them. I hang up underwear on the side, any kind of intimates like bras on the other side. Also with pajamas, I will usually only pack one or two pairs of pajamas depending on how long we are there. Because let's be honest, like you're wearing pajamas to bed. I'm not wearing them outside, getting them dirty. Um, and to be honest with you, I typically sleep pretty naked, like maybe a pair of underwear. I also do this with hairstyles. I will plan out what my hair is going to pretty much look like throughout the whole week. That way I am avoiding bringing things that I don't need for that. So you guys follow me and you know that I pretty much everything around me is blacks and grays and creams. I wear blacks and grays and creams. I basically stick to neutrals, but this is also a tip for traveling. You might like color and that's great, but I would stick with similar a similar color family. That way you have pieces that are interchangeable. You can mix and match, no problem. For example, you can pack a really nice high quality pair of leggings and wear them for two or three days with different tops. Basically items, again, that you can mix and match and not have to worry about them only mixing or only matching with one other piece. In addition to packing interchangeable pieces, I also wear my heaviest layers to the airport. Obviously, this helps free up space in your bag, especially if you are going somewhere where it is cold. So anything that can free up space in your bag that you can wear on the plane, this can also go for hats, do that. That way you're not worrying about the space that it'll take up in your bag. 
I always pack an additional bag in my carry-on that's empty, has nothing in it, so that I can use that for day trips wherever I am going. So the bag that you are seeing here is again another bag from Yasahi. It's just this cute little over-the-shoulder day bag and I especially use this in Nicaragua for the beach. So anytime we go to the beach, I'll just grab that instead of bringing any kind of backpack or purse or anything like that. It's safer, it's right there at my body, it's large so it can fit a lot of things and it's very convenient wherever you are and that way it's not dedicated to any other item throughout the trip. You basically use it on an as needed basis. And lastly, I think this one is pretty self-explanatory, but you want to eliminate anything that you don't need. So this kind of goes back to some of the other tips. For example, if you know what you're going to do with your hair throughout the week, you can avoid maybe bringing a hair dryer or avoid bringing a flat iron or curling iron. So basically, just think about your trip ahead of time. Think about the week or longer that you are going to have. Pack accordingly, use the list, use your packing cubes to keep everything organized, and avoid bringing anything that you are not going to use or you are not going to need. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful, and I really hope that you go and check out Yasahi. I promise you guys I would not share them with you if I didn't think that they were of such high quality and that their mission was so important and aligned with my goals and my mission personally. Be sure to follow me on all my social media accounts. I will be sharing some more things from them as well as sharing my trip in Nicaragua with my family. So if you are interested in that, follow my Instagram account, follow my blog. I will be doing stuff on there. And I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.